Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Greatness, and today we have uh, Game of Thrones A Telltale Series. This is Season 1, Episode 1, Part uh, 4 in the series. And uh, yeah, can't wait to get stuck into it. And um, yeah, absolutely pumped to play this game. Uh, it's been amazing so far, and yeah, can't wait to get stuck into it. So uh, yeah, let's do that right now. Alright, here we go. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Mm -hmm. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What do they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. Mm. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. <laughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Miss. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Then you admit to the crime, in front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. You can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. Mm. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. But you just admit to the crime. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I don't know what to do. Take his fingers. I see. But if I send him to the wall, he goes and his family doesn't have someone to protect. But his family is one short. 
This is probably gonna bite me in the ass, but our house tends to its people. See this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. And I am the Lord. I choose to show mercy. Mercy shows greater strength. Strength shows strength, my lord. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Hmm. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. Come okay. speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. I think I already know who I'm going to choose, but, you know, we have to give everyone their fair, um, their fair go at it. Sword up! Swing left! Barry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs Royland. could hold swords! A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet. But I appreciate your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Hmm. He's just too, like, aggressive, though. Like... You need aggressiveness at times, but you don't need it all the time. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask. Why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, 
I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage, and I regret any action you disapprove of. You had your reasons, but nonetheless, you undermined my authority. I can't have that happen again. It won't, my lord. You have my word. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Ethan, or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. First light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with you. Mm. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mm. mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> Ethan, I need to talk to you. Okay. Mother told me... Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Mm -hmm. Sir Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. Yeah. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. I think we'll head our provisions are rather low my lord I mm. made the count again just to be sure but it doesn't look good has anything gone missing no doesn't look that way seems Eric was the only one to resort to thievery mm. but I'm still worried about our stores we couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. 
The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, mm. it'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements. My lord. Mm. All right, so now we'll go. We'll go to the tower. Come on, you dogs! You'll not be fighting here forever. Huh, okay. So how do we get to the, um... Do we need to talk to the mason, Mace, maybe? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Oh, okay. That's what we had to do. So we're going to name our uh, sentinel. This is going to be interesting. All right, so sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This... this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. Mm. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Let Sir Roiland speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say, Sir Roiland. No, no. You chose your sentinel. He should speak on this. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Mm. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Chair, yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Mm hmm
We're definitely not bargaining, that's no. <sighs> Diplomacy. You kinda just have to fight. I know I can still count on Sir Royland as master at arms. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Lord Ethan? <sighs> it's kind of hard because Ramsay's not really a... You don't want to piss him off, but like... If it's ever going to happen one on one, like, we're not going to win that. So you either just let him in, or like he comes in himself, or we have, we be somewhat of a badass and keep him out and wait. You know what? He's gonna wait at the gate. him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. Your ignorance will be the end of us. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son, but now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, mm. and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. <sighs> Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Mm -hmm. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me you want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it... He didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need mm. that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you.
I'm trying mm. to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Mm. All right, so that was the uh, end of the video. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. Can't wait to play more. And, um, yeah, uh, it's, uh, starting to get, um, to some pretty, uh, heated moments, uh, very soon. So hopefully that happens. And, uh, yeah, I guess we've, we have reached to the, uh, end of the video. So if you like the video, please like the video. And if you want more, more content, please subscribe. And I would like to thank you all for watching. Hope to see you all in another video. Thanks.